Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a quick green screen in After Effects, and this is going to be your finished product. So this is the original footage that I'm going to be using. As you can see, the green screen is pretty well lit, but if you look on the sides of me and the footage, it's a little bit dark. This shouldn't cause too many issues with the green screening process, but you want it to be as well lit as possible, otherwise you are going to have problems doing a nice green screen. I'd actually like it a little bit brighter on the edges, but this will have to do. So to start off with, go over to Effects and Presets, and you're going to look for the Key Light plugin. It's Key Light 1.2, so go ahead and drop that onto the track. Now go over here and choose the little eyedropper and click on the background. And that should take it away. As you can see, it's already looking pretty good, but you can see still a little bit of the green screen in the background. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. It actually helps to work with a white background. So I'm gonna move the white solid up. There, so you can really see in the background where the green screen's coming through. So go ahead and click on the view and change it to screen mat. And then you're going to go over here to the controls and mess with the gain. I don't want to go too high. You want it to be as black as possible, but not remove too much from the image. If you look and see if I go too far, it's cutting into the image. That's just going to affect the transparency of the image. So go as far as you can without removing too much. Then you can even come over here to the balance to help restore some of the white to the edges. So yeah, you can really go to zero. Then when you go back to view and you go to final result, it'll show you what the final image looks like. Now there's still a little bit of green on the edge of this image. But when I put on the actual background, it's not an issue because the edges of my image are transparent anyways where the green bleeds through. If you have problems with yours, you can add hue and saturation effect onto your image and you can just adjust that until you get the right tint to eliminate the green. I'll do another video later on where we'll go more in depth on how to remove the green at some point. But for now, I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the top layer. And if there's a little bit of bleed, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. This is, again, from where I had the dark around the image where it wasn't fully lit. So that's another reason why you want to make sure you get the background as brightly lit as possible. A good way of dealing with this, though, is if you add a drop shadow. That'll help cover it some. So as you can see, that did do a little bit to help cover the edge. It's not perfect, but once you turn the background on, it's not really noticeable, as you can see. So that's how you do a quick green screen. Thank you for checking out my video. I'll have more to come. This is actually a parody of Rolling in the Deep called Rolling in Perel. It's a coronavirus parody. You can check that out. I'll post it right on my page. So thanks for watching. Bye. Heart pumping, blood pumping, sweat running, I'm a victim of your love now.